This is length of string. You compute the length of a string literal, which behaves kind of like the string prototype, like string dot length. It's a little funny, but let's let's see here. So we, we know that we're going to start with a generic. How would you, what, what's your first thought? How would you go about trying to solve this? Um, you do counting within... You need some sort of accumulator, obviously, because you're counting. Mm -hmm. But uh, oh, it's like an incrementer. Um, it's like you'd have, because you're counting, uh, we'd need to have recursion in this. And that recursion kind of just increments. So, okay, let's just give this a go. T extends. Um, mm -hmm. We just pick one character. Yep. So, uh, A. And then infer the rest of it. Mm -hmm. Tail. Okay, I guess you could do head and tail. The head would just be the one character. The one character, yeah. Because of the infer. And then you'd. So, okay. We pick up a character, head. And then I think we have to check head extends something, like head actually exists. Um, Mm -hmm. How do you do that? So okay, do do? I'll, I'll give you I'll give you one little thing. How do you make sure that it's like not undefined or something? How do you make sure that it is defined? So head will only exist if the thing that's passed in for t has something that could be matching. So the inferencing can only get to this point if head is something in the first place. But to keep the state, you're going to need to hold. Uh, this is a little bit of a dirty trick. Uh, yeah, but you you have to hold some kind of uh, base case like value somewhere, and then eventually in the end we can check that like when we get nothing left. So when there isn't a match, we can we can do something. I don't want to give it away, but <laughs> we can do something with accumulator to well, get it's, its length. It's interesting you're doing an array here. Oh, okay. A length check, and I would have thought that you'd store, store a number and you did some some sort of increment. Um, oh, okay, yeah, that's great. So this is a good time to talk length. about this. There's really no way to do that. There is actually a way to do number arithmetic and stuff like that in the TypeScript type system, but all of those solutions involve building up tuples and taking their length. So actually, I mean, it'd be probably better to think of it like 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 this. Uh, is this going to say? Oh, because it needs to have one element. Okay. Anyway, uh, yeah, building up arrays in the type system and then checking their their length. So I'll I'll give you this part. Um, it'll end like that. So oh, once okay. there's nothing so this, left, this actually, right? Uh, okay. So that's the length of the string. Mm-hmm. And then this needs to receive. Uh, oh yeah, and sorry, I, we named this uh, length of string. We named it the wrong thing. Sorry, that's my bad. Go oh, on. Right. So that receives that receives tail because that's the remaining characters, and then it receives the accumulator, mm -hmm. which is. Um, does this work? Uh, Definitely not ActiveX object. I hate how it does that. Anyway, <laughs> that works. You got work. it. Uh, that's sweet. Isn't that something? And then oh, this. Yeah, this is this is it. I had no idea you could do this. So this yeah. actually spits out a number. Yeah, there's there's another thing. Uh, uh, like there's a couple funny things you can are do. There other, are there other properties like like length that we can use? Yes, and you can also do this. Uh, this is not uh, th this is not uh, relevant to this solution, but just as an aside, because uh, it's fun and we're geeking out. You can also do something like that. What that will do is get all of the like non prototype the types of all of the non-prototype things inside the array. The type? Oh, okay. So, do you get it? It's like numbers specifically? Because anything else could give you things that are on the prototype, like length. If I have, uh, we're going to be, in, it's an aside. I'll, I'll show you. There are a couple of examples I'll send them to you, but there are a couple of examples, or maybe I'll link them below to anybody watching the video. I'll go find some. There are a couple of examples in the challenges that require you to do something like that. Maybe we'll hit one tonight as we're going through these. Um, but yeah, so I looked up, there's a couple variations that you could do on what you have here, by the way. Uh, one of them is that you don't actually care about what this value is here. So you could do something like this, and this still passes. 
Um, yeah, because you just care about... Because all you care about is that it's some string array. You could put the string in the front. That still passes. It doesn't really matter at that stage. Um, one of the ways that people... So the reason I, I uh, mistakenly had string to tuple there typed before. The reason that is is because... Uh, let me show you another... I'll just, I'll just erase this for a second. Uh, I'll show you another solution that people came up with. So some people did this thing. They would build a little helper called string to tuple. And... What it does is, well, I kind of like made a test to show you what it does. So if you pass ASDF to string to tuple, what you get is an array that has AS, and then the second element is SDF. I'm sorry, ASDF is the first one, then SDF, and then DF, and then F. So these are kind of like nonsense values, but we do end up with a tuple that has four things in it, and the original input string was four characters long, and we abuse that in order to, and then we call length at the very end in order to get the value. So, like, internally here, this is also doing, uh, so I showed you, this is like another third thing up under that you can do, uh, not just number, you can grab the very first value of a thing and do it like this. It's kind of interesting. Um, mm -hmm. But yeah, that's that's another solution. I didn't find much else in the way of solutions, but this is a this definitely is a way that people solve this is by doing this string to tuple so step this, first. Yeah. So this T0 is the same as going string. Mm-hmm. Yep. yep, exactly. And you could put string here too. Uh, it doesn't really matter. Uh, oh wait, could you not put string there? Oh right, that test is gonna no, fail because I was yeah, checking that literal be. thing. But yeah, the rest of the tests will will still pass. So that's how it works. Mm. Cool. This is cool. Yeah.